Chinese takeout is waiting for you on the other side. That can't be pretty. But you wonder, is that box of baking soda you put in there last February doing anything to absorb the inevitably awful smell? We are about to conduct a very pungent experiment. What is the best way to minimize unpleasant odors in your refrigerator? One lucky food tech will stick his head in two separate refrigerators. In each fridge, he'll find some rancid Kung Pao chicken, a very odiferous blue cheese, and a jug of milk two weeks past its expiration date. One refrigerator contains a box of baking soda, the other does not. Then, we're going to time how long our food tech can tolerate the relative rankness, or in technical terms, rankitude, of each fridge. Food tech, please insert your head in refrigerator number one, which does contain baking soda. To help us analyze this experiment, we're joined by Jake from Popular Science Magazine. Jake? Hi, Ted. When food spoils, it releases volatile organic compounds. These molecules are acidic, and their unpleasant scent might even burn our food tech's nose. In theory, the acrid aroma should be absorbed by the baking soda. Impressive. Our food tech lasted a whole 15 seconds. But how long can he hold out in fridge number two, which has no baking soda? Let's find out. He's really struggling. I can smell that cheese from here. And after just a few seconds, he's no longer able to tolerate the smell. But what's happening in the fridge that does contain baking soda? Well, baking soda is a base. When the acidic vapors come in contact with its surface, they're neutralized. But I hear there's an even stronger odor-fighting material. And I have it right here. That's right, Ted. And the reason that those inserts can fight even your stinky feet has to do with activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is different from regular charcoal in that it's incredibly porous. It's full of microscopic nooks and crannies, and even a gram of it has a larger surface area than the floor of this entire lab. And it's the large surface area that makes it effective. The foul-smelling organic gases only attach to the surface of the charcoal. But how does the charcoal compare to the baking soda? And now, our food tech will sniff out the answer. In one refrigerator, we have baking soda. This time, we put a whole tray of it in to maximize the surface area and therefore its effectiveness. And in the other, activated charcoal. Food tech, go. Increasing the surface area of the baking soda allowed him to tolerate the smell longer than the box. Now, try the fridge with the charcoal. <laughs> Unbelievable! He almost seems to be enjoying the atmosphere in there. So yes, we have concluded that baking soda does reduce odor somewhat, but that activated charcoal works even better. You can buy cartridges of activated charcoal that are made to go in your refrigerator, and if they're out of stock, try your local